All right, guys, this road right here uh, leads from um, the main road down there, coming from the turntable, and it leads all the way up to uh, Sebec International School or private school. And right now, uh, we want to show you a developing subdivision close by. Interested? Stick around. Mama said they are building this little trench right here to put these blocks in to put the fence around. And that's what we're about to start out at Bag this week. Right. It's been a little while since I did a video, guys. Here's the material right here. Uh, in America, I think we refer to it as gray stones, but over here they refer to it as black stones. And I believe the reason why they refer to it as black stone is when there's some moisture on this gravel, it, it gives the appearance of black in color and stuff. So uh, if you want the very best material to build your compound, you need the black or gray stones. And I think this is coming from Gambia or either Senegal. And uh, the grade isn't as great as this, but uh, it's up there. So it depends on your pocketbook or whatever you got as to which of the materials you want to use to build your compound. And this is the very top grade. This is the second grade. And then over here we got sand, different types of sand. And this sand does come from uh, Gambia and stuff. Where we are, it's called Gonjur and uh, San Yang. And look at this house right here now. Again, this is a newly developing subdivision, but it, it, says, it says the area is called Sology. So if you're coming over here, guys, it would be wise for you to bring a house plan or uh, be at the mercy of architects who might charge you a little extra to design your house. But basically, uh, I would recommend to you, and I didn't, by the way, come over here with our own house plan. We had an outline, but we didn't have a blueprint. So let's walk on down some more. Okay. And here's a perfect example, Nadia. If you remember back there, I showed you how they dug the trench, where they kind of put the base in. And this is exactly what they did right here, to fence it off around and stuff, okay? And guys, those of you that are a little bit uh, into uh, construction more than we are since we're in bag and we're building such a long fence the guys kind of told me uh, you have to use some wire going uh, parallel and then perpendicular and stuff let me know if there's any truth to that or was that a scare tactic it's nice can I look at it What's your name? Omar. Omar? Yeah. Rick? Yeah. Family, my name Rick. This is uh, Omar, and that's Sweet Juicy Mama. He's going to show us what a beautiful house looks like in construction. He said he is, this is his compound. We follow you, Omar. Our kids used to go to Salaji School. Salaji School at yeah. yeah. Sebek, okay. uh, Sebek, so they finished this stuff. Yeah, yeah. And uh, now this house is growing fast over here, this, this area. So what is this area here done? Is uh is where we keep the spoke stuff like materials material materials, okay. yeah. for security. This yeah. is okay. Yeah. okay. Here is the compound. This is the compound. Yeah. Beautiful the place compound. We have the open trash. Huh? The open trash car park. Oh okay. Oh, just the car park. Car park. Yeah. Oh okay. Garage. 
God park. They, they say car park, God. we say garage. Uh, God, God, yeah. Same thing, same thing. So yeah. you bring the car in here. Mm -hmm. It's a five meter long. This is your compound? My brother. Oh, your brother? He's okay. America. Huh? Mm -hmm. He's in America? Yeah. Oh, where in America? Wisconsin. Huh? Yeah, Wisconsin. Give him a shout out, he might be a subscriber. This Wisconsin. Wisconsin. You want to say hi to him? He might know. Yeah. Okay. Say hi, brother. Okay, but anyway, this is nice and stuff. So, uh, this is the carport. And what's this back there? The septic tank or? Yeah, the septic tank, no, for the pool. Uh, okay. A pool? Yes. Is this tank? For the septic tank? Yeah. Pool. Okay. Yeah. Borehole. There's no borehole there. Nah, borehole. No borehole. So, it's going on city border? Yeah. Norway. It's one of the toilet pipes. Oh, the toilet pipes coming here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Now I want to. Yeah. This one is three meter deep. Three meter fifty deep. Three meters fifty, 50 deep. Oh, okay. Deep, yeah. Now I got a question about the septic tank, right? Yeah. This is a septic tank. Yeah. This is a septic tank. Yeah. So the the water goes in three hundred fifty meter deep. Three hundred fifty deep. Yeah. Okay. Now when three meter. 3.5. 3.5. Okay. So when it fills, do they have to bring in the uh, septic tank to suck out? Yes. Ah, yes. Okay. You know, like five years time. Every, every five years. Yes, or five years. Uh -huh. Depends how uh, how you use it. Uh, or how many how people stay. Yes. Okay, but this is good. This is my first time seeing See this right it, here yeah. stuff. This you is know, real this nice. Is ready. They are going to plaster inside. So they are plastering. Oh, uh, okay. Plastering inside. I see the overflow and, and too. Plaster. They're going to cover it with, with rocks uh -huh. and with concrete. It. Uh -huh. We're going to have one cost block wall. Got you then. Then we will fill here. When, so when it rains, it rains, then water will go out. Oh, uh, like that, okay. The it's going gotcha. to shift, it's going to cover all. Ah, I see. And I see the overflow, the whole yeah. sort of flow from over here to over here. Over here. So there's two I like. That. Yeah. That's real nice, Omar. It's real nice. Yeah. Who's building it? You, Omar? Or? Yeah, me, yeah. Can I get your number in case I need the Oh, your supervisor? Make sure we get his number. We get his property built to it. I'm always looking for you know, uh, contractors. That's dirty door. Come on in now. This is the living room. If you can see it, if the light is okay. This is the living room here. Then the living room, you have the dining room. Okay. Yeah. From the living room yeah. to the yeah. dining area. Yeah. This is the dining area right yeah. now. How many bedrooms? We have four together? Yeah. Six bedrooms. Six bedrooms, yeah. nice. There you have the kitchen. The kitchen. So nice. the, yes, we have the wall tile, the kitchen. Okay. The wall tile. That's why we didn't plaster inside the kitchen. Right. We have wall tile all. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. So how much something like this will cost? I would tell you. Oh, okay, for the washing machine. For the washing basin. Oh, wash your hands. Wash your hands. Ah. Then you can wash your hands, maybe for the guest. Gotcha. Yeah, here you have the mustard. Nice. Bit. Now, now, Omar, let me ask you, did he send you a design for America or you did this? Uh, this one, there's an architect relief to throw the plan. Right. But what we need to do is remember the American make changes. Oh, he did, okay. Yeah, he did. Here is the master bedroom. This down, is the master bedroom. Down floor, yeah. Down floor. Down floor, master bedroom. Okay, family, and as you see, always, we always have to have security. Security is the must. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. It's going to have aluminum, <laughs> aluminum windows, glass. Right. Yeah, that one really are done. That one is coming. You fix gotcha. it there. So oh. now nothing can come in shape. The doors are coming from America? The doors, yeah. Oh, right here. So yes, the doors are here. Okay. This is the door. So, uh, yeah, I see. This is the door, yes. Oh, solid, solid. Yes. And I like the towel. This is the wall tent. Here is the toilet. Okay. It's the bedroom toilet. Is the towel coming yeah. from America too? No, we buy it here. Buy it here, okay. We buy it here. You can see different designs when you go. Yes. Oh, yeah, gotcha. This is nice. I like this. Okay, when we get our car built. Mm -hmm. Two bedrooms. There's a bedroom. Ah, uh, okay. And this shed, the toilet. See, that's what we were looking at when we moved out there. Two bedrooms and they shed a toilet. Two. This is a perfect example of what we were looking at. Gotcha. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Only thing missing is y'all closet. Okay. Yeah, what's your good program? The program here. Yeah, the ceiling fan. Ah, uh, ceiling fan. Ceiling fan. Okay. Center light. Okay. We have the wall lights inside the building. Gotcha. Wall light. We have the sockets. And three sockets. Right? Yes, but here we program AC. AC, okay. AC here. Gotcha. Inside the bedrooms. Okay. Downstairs. Now, Omar, she asked you 
how much it costs to build this, and you said you're a teller. That's all I, I, I want to ask a question too. Huh? Approximately, no problem, ain't got to be exact because that's private information. Uh, how long does it take to build something like this? Uh, it depends, it depends on the on the Muslims, the government Muslims, or the cost. Okay. You know, how you are financing it. Some you can budget the money. Yeah. For one year, two year, in right. American dollars. Yeah. If you want, you can do it bit by bit. If you have, let's say, uh, five thousand dollars, you invest it. Before that one finished, you can take one year, two year, three year. It depends. Gotcha. Little less than three years. If gotcha. you want, little less than two years. Okay, gotcha. You can finish it, yeah. Okay, gotcha. Depends on the heard that man. All right. Then All right. Pull it down. Yes, pull it down. Yes, pull it. It's going to have spotlights here. Mm -hmm. That's why you program. Okay. Then you come here's the side door. Like. Oh, we see this from outside to the yes, safety. To the safety. And like, like when the landlord come for instance, come. For instance, if you come here, you park your car. Ah. You just don't need for you to go. All the way around. Right. You have to come here. Got you. Go get in. I like this design. Yes. I like this design. Because yeah. Come from you, you the garage might... or the corridor. Just come right here, yeah. straight into the house. Not even. Yeah. Now, now I got a question. Another question. Now, did y'all build all this with this one right here or more than one? What the moon? Yeah. It's more than one. It depends on the quality. Okay. Oh. You can use one to make the mooling of the blocks. Okay. You can make uh, 500 bucks, 300 bucks. Okay. One with one. Okay. Then. It depends. Okay. Did y'all use the concrete machine or no? No. You just mix it. One pump. Manpower. We mix it. Even me, I do the work. Okay, got gotcha. you. Thanks, you know, when I smoke, I don't feel I do the work. I understand. Yeah, yeah, it's the gotcha. staircase. Staircase, guys. Yeah. Uh, we're going to put here an, uh, the staircase rail. Rail, yeah. Right. yeah. The metal it's, bar. It's, it's under construction. Okay. With the welding mark. Gotcha. Okay, guys, we're on the second floor here. Yes. What is the same? Uh, it's, it's, it's the same level. Okay. What's different? You know, we made it two bedrooms again. Okay. Uh, we made it two bedrooms. They say the same toilet. Okay. Same. Upstairs. Okay. Two bedrooms. They say the same toilet. Okay. Same design concept as below and stuff. Yes. Two bedrooms and they share the same toilet. Toilet. Like yes. It. You have the corridor here. You have the balcony. Ah. Balcony for the bedroom. Yeah. You have fresh air. I like it. Nice breeze too. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Turntables that way, right over there, by yeah. the bubble tree. Mm -hmm. This is nice, Omar, real nice. Got you. Got you. The living room upstairs. The living room, oh, you got a living room upstairs and living room downstairs? Upstairs, yeah. Ah, okay. Here's the upstairs one. Then we put this on it, that other upside is going to have a, a dining table. A upstairs. dining room yeah, table? Yeah, there's nothing for you to go downstairs. Okay. You can be upstairs having your food, everything. Going down and coming staircase, no, we don't want that. Gotcha. You program here upstairs. Really? For the kitchen too? Yeah, we're going to program kitchen here. Oh, it's okay. going to be open kitchen. Okay. Now, Omar, I, I just got to say, I'm really excited about how you guys turn it from looking like this yes. to looking like this yes. right here. You make the block work first, yeah. then you plaster yeah. it, then after you come and finish it. Right. I've never seen that done before until we came here to the area. So this is real master, nice. Here's the master bedroom upstairs. So a master bedroom upstairs and master, master bedroom, bedroom downstairs. downstairs. Ah, yes. okay. So three upstairs. Here is a closet. Here is a, here is a closet in the original plan. Right. It's a closet. You have the toilet. Uh -huh. But I closed the middle here as a bedroom also. Oh. To have four bedrooms upstairs. Wow. Instead of three. Okay. In case if you have guests. Right. They can use the bedroom. Okay then. Here is the, here is the toilet. Right. Okay. The toilet. Now, the, now the, this is supposed to be the master bedroom. The master bedroom upstairs. And you have another bedroom in the master bedroom. Yes. I don't think that's a good idea, but yes. okay, no problem. It, I'm privacy. You yeah, but privacy. this person don't have privacy. See, I sleep here, but somebody come in and go to this bedroom. No, but it means that the landlord, like, you are the one of the house. We are the very on that. If he is going to have a bedroom, we are going to close here. And, and remove the, uh, open the gate, uh, open the door, the other side. Oh, here. door. Or this other corridor or here. It depends. I, I understand that. Yes. Okay, I get you. But if I'm going to maintain this bedroom, we will not open it. It's right. only going to be the landlord's bedroom. Okay. We have the Privacy bill, like when you are from America, yeah. UK, US, you have materials, you have logistics, you can come and log it here. I understand. No one will have access to your. Gotcha. Yeah. I understand. Then here you have it. Okay. The open trees. Ah, I like this. Upstairs. Yes, I like this. Here's the open trees where you sit to get fresh air. I like this. Yes. The view, the salad is surrounding. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Yes. Beautiful. Yeah, open trees yeah. here. I was telling them in America on the video when our children used to go to Sebek. 
that was just dirt road. They use now, now it's black top road now. So yeah, yeah. they make it's it look more simple. Yeah, it's growing. It's growing yeah. yeah, this is very beautiful. Mm -hmm. Very beautiful. So uh, you say you don't know when it'll be finished. Uh, just budget. Yes. Whatever yes. the budget, budget is. Budget. 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 Yes. I understand. But 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 I can tell you the exact the exact the exact amount of dollars that you spend as of now. Okay. But same. approximately I will tell you if you want to build a house like this. All right. Same. Have to sit and, and, and just give you just minute for you. Okay. Yeah. You ask the question. He gonna give you the answer. I'm gonna give you the answer. Uh -huh. uh, I forgot to ask you. Where are you from in America? Uh, we're from Tennessee, Tennessee. close to Atlanta. We're from Atlanta. Yeah. Okay. But we've been here for four years. Four years. Yeah. Four years. Okay. So. You know, we buy some land in Sipo, mm. and we're building out there. But right now, we're still renting in Cursorane. Until we build and get the fence and house like this, we move, mm. stop paying rent. You know? So you have an orchard on Sipo? We have what? Orchard at Sipo. Yes, we have land out of Sipo. After Kitty, you have Sipo. Yeah, after uh, Kitty, Sipo. Yes, I've been there. I think they always said I went there to Gunju. Oh, uh, OK, yeah. We almost bought something in Gunju, but we didn't. We found something better in Sipo. You know, there's a tributary out there, the water. Out there. Yeah. Yeah, we're right off the water. So there's water out there in C4, we're right off the water and stuff. But uh, what was uh, the answer to her uh, question? How much does something like this cost? Uh, in Dallas, you can, you can build it at $8 million. $8 million. $8 million, $8 million. It depends on the quality. You know, the buildings here you have different qualities. Okay. Some can, you can, you can give some even $5 million to build this thing for you. Okay. But, but the duration of the house, the quality, the first also. Right. So we use the the the, uh, the black rock stones, the black stones. stones yeah. Also, that one is more expensive. Right. Some use the the red, the red one. Right. more stones. The red ones are not expensive. It's not expensive. Right. Yo, a black stone is more expensive. It's come from Senegal. Senegal, right. Yes, yeah, Senegal. Uh -huh. That's normally we normally call it beton. Right. You understand? So okay. that one, if you use that one, it can cost you eight million dollars. Uh -huh. Some can go to ten million dollars. Uh -huh. Some can go to seven million dollars. Because just the quality. Quality, yeah. Okay. Depends uh -huh. on the quality. Yes. Got you there. Okay. Yeah, and the money also. So about a six-bedroom house this size, guys. If you don't know the rough translation, you're looking at anywhere from a hundred thousand to maybe a hundred and ten thousand U.S. dollars for this six-bedroom compound here and stuff. Okay. All right, we're going to take a look around at some more houses and stuff. So, fathers, thank you, uh, Omar, for showing us the house. Yeah, all right, thank you. Thank you. Okay. You know, you take a space. Space. So, so you don't need it here. Yeah, I understand. You, don't need, you have to remove all. Yeah. If you don't remove all, in the wrong run, it's going to stop you. Right. It's going to make slap. Yeah. And we're going to want to put here a bantaba. Uh -huh. A bantaba here. Yeah. Here, you know, okay. Here. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks again, there, Omar. So, we'll see you around. What's your name? Rick, and Rick. this is Sent, and this is Nadia. Nadia. Yes. Okay. All right. Yeah. Thank you, Omar. Thank you. We'll be by to see you again. Thank you. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, anytime you come, I'm here. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to walk on down this way, guys. Over here is not as advanced as this one. See, somebody's bought this lot yeah. and they've bricked it off. <laughs> and they've made some blocks over there. See, they put a fence up. And I'm, I'm guessing that this is going to be the entrance here because it's still open. But somebody's bought this lot right here, fenced it off started building their blocks. It's all in phases and budgets and stuff. Okay. I'll go down this way. Now guys, it's really growing over here. You guys got to get over here real fast now. Take advantage while the prices are still low and, and, and the uh, land is reasonable. Uh, contracts, now you might have to bring your own or you know, uh, figure that out amongst yourselves. Now we're still working on our list too. Let's see if we can piece this out here. That's just an empty lot, nothing really out of the ordinary in there. Let's just keep on walking down. Uh, because you're an expert in food, Daddy, what would you say that is? It's all like Chinese food. Chinese food? Yeah. Sure fried right or beef fried right? All right. No, I was asking, not. I don't know chicken fried rice. Chicken fried rice, okay. Right here, I call this a giant door. It's probably, let me see, I'm about two meters. That's probably about like three, three meters tall, but I call it a giant uh, door and stuff. 
I really like the concept, but look now, if you're bringing in a sectional couch or a king size bedroom or something like that, you kind of have problems because of the width, like the width here is real narrow. And I kind of packed that in in our building. I wanted everything oversized so you don't come up short and stuff. You know, some houses that have a big lot, they kind of give you a little breezeway to walk through, but nothing large enough where you can park a vehicle back there. If you can uh, visualize what I'm saying, make sure you uh, factor that in. If you have a large lot and you want to drive to the back of the lot, as well as to the front. Some people don't do that, they just cut themselves short. Okay, let's go here. How bad? Mm -hmm. The tile. I'm not sure if I'm in favor of that tile. I don't like that one. That's a little right on the outside. Let's, no. let's take a look at this one. This one, another one that looks like it's finished, but it's way back up in here. And then we'll turn on around. Guys, in America we call this a cul-de-sac. Cul-de-sac, that means you come up in here, it's only one way in and one way out. And this is a fairly new house, because I can tell, uh, you can see the, 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 the crack here. That means that this person didn't use the black stones. He used uh, these stones right here, see? You ain't gotta be a detective, but see right here, he used these stones right here. When you use the inferior stones, as opposed to what I said earlier, and Omar, if you use these, which is the next level down, you kind of suffer this right here and stuff. So you need to use the gray or black stones if you don't want to have cracks in the foundation like that and stuff, okay? And again, here's a good idea. If you're coming from overseas, buy all your material, ship it in this is a 20 foot container ship it in a 20 foot container or 40 foot 40 foot container where you got everything and you already know the quality beautiful fence and he went two times on the security he went with barbed wire spikes and glass he making sure you don't come in there now sweet mama taking us this way so we're just gonna follow her All the cashew trees. I don't know if that's on somebody's land, guys, but uh, we talk a lot about the cashew trees over here. Phenomenal business opportunity uh, if you have the machines to process it. Again, I emphasize phenomenal business opportunity if you have the machines to process it, and you better believe we're gonna get those machines. Okay, sweet model kind of looped us around. This is a big lot right here. Again, this guy's fenced his, fenced his uh, property off. And I like right here, they got some kind of wire that they stick in here to uh, secure the fence. Instead of just going block, 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 uh, here they will insert some kind of like four by four metal rods that'll secure this and stuff. I like that design. Now guys, I'm not a contractor or construction person, but you learn a lot over here as you go, when you look at the different properties and the different phases of development. Now here's a beautiful lot here. Somebody's purchased this lot and um, have fenced it off and they still have trees in here. That's a sheep biscuit, some cashews, cashews, cashews. So this person, unless they cut down all the trees, they're gonna have a lot of cashew apple juice and cashew nuts here, as well as other things, because I know they're gonna plant some other things too. Pretty nice, ain't it, Nadia? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Watch your step coming out of here. I think this is the first one I've seen over here that has the beautiful flowers. Guys, I don't even need I don't even need to say, you know there's gonna be a dirt road coming in here, no blacktop and stuff. Just take that for granted. And look at the beautiful flowers and stuff. Ooh. Man, 
Smell that, Naughty. Oh, yes, that has can. no fragrance whatsoever. Okay, let's get that one. Okay, here's another lie. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Sit, sit. 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 Oh, one behind. Me. Sit. Oh, they're, they're big. Sit and walk. Sit in that nigga. Sit and walk. They're getting closer to each other. You don't understand? Ah. Let's go. Hmm. And our second compound guys wish to park our van outside the gate like this and they kept coming up and saying hey you know we see people looking in your van why don't you drive it inside and stuff but you know coming from america you know we was a little bit hard-headed and stuff and so we left it out one night and somebody broke inside and stuff so if you have a van and it's outside of the compound make sure you park it inside and secure it at night in the daytime, people out and about and looking and stuff is fine. But at night, hey, don't run the risk of leaving it out at night. Park it inside there and stuff, okay? That's a safety tidbit for you, all right? Here's another lot. And if you look at all the burn spots, they burnt down the trees that was in there, you know? I'm against burning the trees, unless that's just, you don't have any other alternative. I like the trees. But, you know, if it's a small lot like this one right here is, you know, he had to do what he had to do. So he chopped them down and he's got somebody hired to pull the roots out and stuff. And if you can see some of these, these are some of the roots that come out of, out of there and stuff. Okay. You might be wanting to jump to another area. It's up to you. Yeah, let's go into another area because we just need a little... You want to go to where we're supposed to rain at? That it says, stolen keys. If found, there's a, a D5000 cash reward if you find it or know about it. The number is 507-4295, all right? So if you guys have any uh, information about this stolen keys and stuff, uh, please leave a comment on this channel and stuff, all right? Mm -hmm. uh, now, guys, you know our story already. We've uh, been in the Gambia almost four years, and we don't have a, 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 a an approved a number of contractors that we refer to you. Now, we are showing you guys as we develop our land at BAG, the different contractors that we're working with, but we haven't actually worked with them. And some of you have responded in your comments to our videos that some of the guys tried to overcharge you, you know, we, we didn't recommend these guys. Now, we are still in the process of trying to put our group together of, of viable and trustworthy contractors because when you first come over here, you're at the mercy of some unscrupulous people and stuff, okay? So we're going to try to steer you clear of them once we assemble our list and stuff, okay? All right, here, here we're in another area, and this right here is a pretty one right here. Uh, it's already uh, complete. No... Is this the one we almost rented? Yes. Uh, this would have been part of the Bags family story, guys. We almost rented this compound here, uh, but we, for some reason, got steered in another direction. Uh, this is closer to Sebec School, but we didn't we didn't move here, so uh, something directed us away from here. We're gonna walk down here and see some more construction in progress. That was the only house here, too. Is it that? Yeah, that was a, yep, that's right. That was, that was the only house that was here. Now look guys, to show you how it's really developing in the Gambia and uh, uh, exploding while some of us say, hey, you know, I'm not sure if I want to go over there or I'm disillusioned, you know. Okay, stay disillusioned. Ooh, this is a beautiful shade spot. Here's a, 
another one uh, that's being developed. And you can see the different uh, phases of uh, development. I don't want to go down there by those guys right there. They're particular about being on the camera. So if you can zoom in and see what they're doing, Nani, you will spin on around and get out of here. It's pretty Again. dark. Uh, it's too dark. Okay, no problem. Look at all these mango trees. All these mango trees, guys. So in a, so in the fruit bearing seasons, which is coming up, you can just come out here and pick your mangoes right off the tree. And if you don't desire to come and pick them out on the tree, from the tree, you can go buy them from the ladies at the markets who do come out here and pick them from the tree. So these are really fabulous and stuff. Mango season. Hold up here and see if you find some more, then shut her down. Still recording now. All right. Hey right, guys, I want to point this out right here. This right here is the water system here. For some reason or another, in the subdivisions, they don't dig them deep enough where they don't uncover themselves. So eventually right now, me, I, I, I'm like, uh, if something can go wrong, it will go wrong. And having this right here exposed in this roadway, eventually there's gonna be a water loss for somebody because the, the, the pipe is gonna be busted. So I don't know why they do that. I mean, you need to put that in there secure and deep enough, you know. But this is a pretty house right here. Pretty house here too. The yellow one down there. Right here. Now, see the water tank on the side? Now, it's not like in America. I'm not sure about other places, but in America, the water just comes straight in. But with the water tank here, the water comes from either Norwick or that pipe that I showed you down there. It comes into here and it goes up to the house. So in the event that there's electrical outage or water shortage, your house will be at the mercy of whatever's inside that tank. Now, if you're on borehole water, disregard what I said, because you already got your source of water. But this is if you're coming from Norwalk. And, and pretty, I'm pretty sure it is coming from Norwalk because you can see the electrical lines coming in here and stuff. So more than likely, this is there a is developed area. Friend. Yep. More than likely, this is a developed area. And this is where you're getting your water from in Norwalk. And that's what those tanks are for. Because I was curious about that when I first came here. I kept saying, why do you have these tanks out there? That's and borehole. Finally figured it out. Now, as you can tell, this is going to be a problem here now. Can you, can you see the road? What? See how the, when the rain comes? Oh, yeah. It's going to fall right down in here, and it's going to be hard to get through here because the way they dug this right here and stuff. Are you sure that's a house? Huh? Are y'all sure that's a house? I don't know if it's a house. It could be apartment. It looks like apartments. I think it's an apartment too. Let's zoom in on Maybe I can hear our voice and come out and tell us. Get away. Oh, hey, yeah, it's an apartment. Huh. Hey, Mr. Chicken. Right 
guys. Um, it's not as said, and I have said, we've never seen this kind of design before. Oh, How you so. doing? Yes. Is this an apartment or a house? Well, uh, it's, a, it's an apartment, at the same time it's a house. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. Downstairs is a house, but upstairs is an apartment. Oh, okay. Downstairs is the house yeah. and upstairs is the apartment. Are you the owner? No, I'm not the owner. The owner is in the U.S. He went back yesterday. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. He was here, living here for some time, almost three, four weeks. What, what state? Pardon me, in what? Seattle. Okay. In case you're watching this video, we're filming your house, Mr. Seattle. Uh -huh. And this is a beautiful uh, compound here that he said the bottom is a house and the upward portions are apartments. And we've never seen this stair design before. So I think this is really unique right here and stuff. And again, uh, if you guys are catching this, this uh, theme, this reoccurring theme, most of the houses here are built by Gambians, but they're not living here. They're residing or working outside of the Gambia, which is a smart idea. When it comes time for retirement, these guys already have a house to come back to, and they've already generated some outside income or some type of retirement or have built up a, a large savings account and stuff. So, you know, you can factor that in too. And go ahead, sweet mama, I want to tell you what that tree is. I'm sure they know. They said you can look. Okay. Huh. Smells good. And I got me a cat. Huh. That guy. Oh, you got your cat, you apple. That guy answered our questions and ran off. <laughs> Maybe he wasn't supposed to be here. <laughs> he busy, crap. Honey, a hunter could come out here. I'm just kidding. That's the thing he's on. Yeah, they're eating that, uh... Styrofoam? Styrofoam. See, you gotta be sure about your source of meat nowadays, guys. They could be out here ravaging and eating scrap garbage, or it could be, uh... Eat farm brings, uh, eat stuff. Okay, we're going to go back this way and wrap it up. Hello? <laughs> Hi. Everything's okay? <laughs> All right. Now, take a look at this one, Nadia. This is a guy right here who was on a se se severe budget. He came over here. He only took the the uh, fence, the security fence, security fence, he only took it like a half meter up. And you can see that nobody's uh, maintaining it to keep the uh, grass cut low and to make sure nobody's coming in with graffiti. He's on a severe budget. He put the fence on and left. So he might not even remember that he bought this lot. But, uh, it just goes to show you there's something over here for everybody's budget. See all the grass inside there? Now that's supposed to be a bedroom or something, but uh, again, the guy ain't here. Hello. How are you? How are you? This is a pretty design. I think this might be a moss. I'm not sure. I think it is. Mm -hmm. You see the little star in the moon? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty nice. I like the, the design, it's different. That's a house plus a box. The house is on the other side. And that right there is the mom. See you like? Yeah, right here. Yeah, they both, they make themselves a mom. This one's nice too. I guess they didn't want to go to the regular moths. Huh. You know, uh, we don't want to be in a position, guys, when we uh, start building to like take a break and then have to wait three to six months. When we start our project, we want to have a continuously go until it's done. And what's unfortunate about that is 
this rainy season over here and stuff. So when it rains, that hinders all plans and uh, sort of lengthens the time that you know you have for development. But uh, you know, pe people that come in like this right here, I mean, I don't know everybody's budget, but to each his own. I just don't want to be caught into the position where you have to start building the blocks and then stop. Once we start laying blocks, we want to start until finish and stuff like that, instead of delaying and stuff like we're doing right now. Okay, let's go ahead and come on down here and wrap this up. Somebody drying their clothes. Yep. Without the clothes feet. Yeah. Hmm. Anybody remember where we parked at? Yep. Oh, this way? Store on the corner. Is this a store? Yes. I should have brought my money. I need credit. Do they got credit? Ask them if they got credit. I didn't bring my purse. Oh, it's in the car. Shall we keep on walking? They ain't right there. Where? Well, we'll pass the. When we're going home, we're going to pass the shop or in our name. So I take a look at this. Hey, guys. Here's a. Huh? Maybe this is hers. See this right here? This lot right here is open. That means the owner is not here, but he did gate it off. And what people normally do, like the ladies coming up behind us, is uh. It's my room. This yours? Yeah. Oh, I told so you. She, so she plant onions? Yes. Onions and what is this? Onions? Onions and sour sour and okra. Okra. Ah. Where's the wonju? No, 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 and ground nuts. Ah, that's good then, yeah, that's good. Every year? No, only this year. Only this year? 13, yes. Ah, 13? Okay. Mm -hmm. 13, wow. ah, okay. Yeah. All right, well, thank you, madam. Okay, thank okay. you. Thank you. Right. Bye. 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 <laughs> yeah, like I was saying, yeah, you can utilize these lots right here if nobody's in them and uh, generate some extra income. And that is a great thing that I see here that's not being done in America. If it's done in America, man, you get arrested, you know, put in jail, in prison, possibly even shot. But over here, hey, you know, if it's open, nobody, nobody's uh, objecting. So, all right. All right, guys. If you like the video. Okay, now. All right, guys, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Uh, share uh, with a friend and uh, drop a comment if you like. And subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. All right? Till next time, guys. Love, peace, soul.